We're going to get into Roosevelt here for, uh, for a few minutes. Hindsight, as we know, is the easiest thing in the world. And I'm not going to pretend to, 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 to sit here today and say, oh, only if um, this should have happened, this should have happened. There are a lot of moving parts. And it is what it is. But as I research this, I've always felt that, wow, I think there was a missed opportunity here. Um, but again, hindsight. You know, we're sitting here in 2023, and we, we, we understand what hindsight looks like, uh, especially when we're two years out from, you know, from the start of the, three, three, three years out from the start of the pandemic. And uh, it's easy to see the mistakes and the miscalculations and things along the way. Um, but for me, I, I always I, I bring it down to one thing. What do you look for in a leader? And for me, it's principles. It's, it's someone that, that believes, understands, feels what is right and sticks to that. It's not somebody that puts their finger in the air and see which way the wind is blowing. We have plenty of those types in Washington today. Now, Roosevelt. Roosevelt wasn't the perfect president. Um, my grandfather, whom I never had the privilege of meeting, his name was John Wesley Christie. I got my middle name from him. Uh, all I know about him, or one of the things I know about him, is that he hated Roosevelt. My mother would tell me how much he would complain about Roosevelt. And it's easy to look back and criticize many of the economic policies that of the 1930s, which most likely prolonged the Great Depression. Um, but I will say about Roosevelt is that he approached the Great War with great resolve and with great principle. Um, what may not be well known is Roosevelt's view on Vietnam. Now, during that time, Vietnam wasn't necessarily called Vietnam. It was, it was, it was broken into three different, uh, three different uh, regions, and they were known as Tonkin in the north, Annam in, in the central part of Vietnam, and then Cochin China in, in the south. And those three made up three-fifths of what was Indochina, including uh, both uh, Laos and Cambodia. So, what do we know about Roosevelt's thoughts on Vietnam? Number one, we know that Roosevelt hated the French. That's an easy one. Number two, he thought, and he said this many times, he believed that the French had milked Vietnam for 80 years. And three, after the war, Roosevelt wanted to establish Vietnam as a U.S. protectorate, kind of in the same vein as the Philippines after the Spanish-American War uh, at, at the end of the 19th century. Roosevelt wanted to kick the French out after the war. He wanted to build up the country and work towards its independence. He said many things over the years about that. They're all documented. But Roosevelt died in April 1945, right before the, 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 the VE Day, which was in May the following month. On the day that Roosevelt died, there were uh, newspaper reports in Saigon mourning his death. Roosevelt to Ho Chi Minh, I think to many of the Vietnamese people, was the hope for a post-war Vietnam, that it would be different. And if, if we could get to the end of the war and let Roosevelt have that time to, to, to see what could be made of Vietnam, well, maybe things would be a whole lot different. But, as fate had it, FDR died in April 1945, and that brings us to Harry Truman taking over.